Welcome to class. Today we'll be looking at the topic fractions. We'll look at types of fraction. We'll also look at how to convert from one type of fraction to another. Okay, we'll start with definition of a fraction. Fraction simply refers to the part of a whole. And this is the way we write fraction. We say x over y. The x, which is the number on top of the line, is called numerator. Y dy, which is the number below the line, is called denominator. Okay, examine this table properly. We are trying to illustrate fractions there. From the first one, one part out of four is shaded. From the second one, three parts out of four is shaded. From the third one, two parts out of seven is shaded. Okay, now we dive ahead to types of fraction. The first type of fraction is called proper fraction. Proper fraction is simply a type of fraction where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So examine those examples. Now we have what is called improper fraction. Improper fraction, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Okay, look at those examples there. Also, we have what is called mixed fraction. A mixed fraction has a whole part and a fractional part. And we can convert mixed fraction to improper fraction and vice versa. We have some examples of mixed fraction. Five whole number, one over two. Three whole number, three over eight. Okay, that is how we pronounce them. Now, let's go ahead to example one. Example 1, we are asked to express the following as an improper fraction. Okay, let's see how to do that. How to convert from mixed fraction to improper fraction. So simply, what we are going to be doing is that we are going to multiply the whole part with the denominator. We will now add the numerator and divide everything by the denominator. Apply your rule of board mass, multiplication comes before addition. Then we arrive at that answer. Also, three whole number, three over eight. We we'll say three times eight plus three over eight. Three times eight is 24. We add three to it, divide by eight, and we we'll get our answer. Simple and short. Okay. Now, let's go to example two. We want to convert from improper fraction to mixed fraction. Okay, so we have 11 over 4. Let's see how to do that. 11 over 4 is equal to 11 divided by 4. Okay, that is what it means. Now, how many times will 4 go into 11? 4 will go 2 times. But there is a remainder, which is 3. And that remainder is also going to be divided by 4. Okay, now let's see how to finalize that. So we have 11 divided by 4 is the same thing as 2 whole number, then plus 3 over 4. And when we bring that together, we have 2 whole number, 3 over 4. Okay, assessment now. So look at those assessment questions properly. If you encounter any challenge, you make reference to the video again. Thank you.